we talk. Hi guys, my name is Soraya. And my name is Carly. Today we're going to be doing four DIYs for kids that will require no supervision and assistance. We're going to be making edible paint, edit, edible, edible paint. we're going to be making edible paint, a chalkboard for Carly, a pom-pom rug, and a tie-dye paint. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get updates when we make new videos. So let's get into the video. video. So right now they're going to be making a tie-dye photo. What you need for your tie-dye photo is rubbing alcohol, markers, and a blank canvas. So what they're going to be doing is covering their canvas with any marker pattern of their choice. Once they cover their canvas, we'll move to the next step. Okay, so now that they're done, I'm going to take the alcohol, which I placed in a spray bottle, and spray it all over the photo. As you can see, the markers start to bleed. So we're going to do this until it bleeds just the way we like it, and then we're going to set them to the side and let them dry. And voila, they're dry. They're done in their tie-dye. Go ahead and take a look at all three paintings. So what you can do with this is you can put it in a picture frame and sit it on a table, or you can hang it on your wall, or you can also give it as a gift. Now we'll be making a pom-pom rug. What you'll need are pom-poms, a glue gun with glue sticks, a non-adhesive drawer liner or a rug pad. You'll need markers to draw the shape of your rug, and you'll need scissors to cut out the shape. So we decided to make a heart shaped rug. I do apologize about the frame. The rug is not quite in the frame. I did not realize that I was not recording properly. But how we're gonna make this rug is that we're gonna to start to put the glue on the pom-poms and we're gonna start with the outer lining of the rug. We're gonna glue these pom-poms as close together as possible on the outer lining of the rug. Now once we do that, we will then fill in the inside. You wanna be sure to fill the inside in as compact as possible because you do not want any holes or spaces in your rug. Now as you're gluing these down, be sure to lift them up so that they're not sticking to your box or whatever you're gluing them on. Of course, you do not want to use your table to do this because you're wearing your table. So you would want to use a box or something that can withstand the glue. All right, so this is our finished product. We have a nice, cute little heart-shaped rug. Carly's giving it a test. Looks like she's having fun with it. Now, it's a nice size for us. Um, we didn't want to make it too big or too small because it takes a while to put the pom-poms on, so we feel like we made it a decent size. This is also a very, very soft rug. It feels really good on your hands and your feet. You can use this for your bathroom or your bedroom or you can even give this as a gift as well. Okay, so this is where the real fun begins. We're going to be making some edible finger paint. That's right, I said edible finger paint. So what you're gonna need is white paper, a spoon, a muffin pan, whipped cream, and food coloring. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your whipped cream and you wanna fill up each compartment of your muffin pan. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our food coloring and we're going to squeeze it into the whipped cream. 
Now you can be creative with this and you can mix your colors together or you can do one color per compartment, just whatever you decide to do. Okay, and now that we are finished putting all the dye into the whipped cream, what we're gonna do is take our spoon and we're going to mix together each compartment to get the colors that we need. Once we mix these together, we'll have our edible paint and then we're gonna finger paint and make a picture with it. Okay, so now that we have all the colors mixed together, let's go ahead and have some fun and finger paint. And we can lick our fingers while we do it because it is edible. So now we're going to be making a chalkboard for Carly. So we're going to use Carly's old ripped up Dr. McStuffins table. So we're going to rip up all the paper on it and then we're going to spray paint the wood with the chalkboard spray. Okay, so this is what the table looks like with all of the Doc McStuffins paper peeled off of it. Excuse the blemishes in the corner. The kids got a little rough with the table, but it will work. Now this chalkboard paint it works on wood, it works on paper, it works on your walls, it works on anything that you want to use it on. So if you don't have an old table to use, that's fine. Just whatever your parents have around the house that they approve, have them spray paint it for you and you'll have a chalkboard. <laughs> 